I'm in Cancun, Mexico right now, hosting our international event for Synergy Mastermind. I'm surrounded by 40 of the top real estate investors from across the country, and I surveyed a bunch of them to find out the biggest lessons they've learned as real estate investors. What's up, Darren Boros here. My mission is to help create a thousand millionaires through real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. So here you go, here's 10 things to learn as a real estate investor from some of the top real estate investors from across the country. Spending the money to educate yourself in real estate investing is critical because it'll save you money in the long run. And uh, if you pay that money up front, you go unprepared, which can save you from seriously costly mistakes. That'll, they can be hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of mistakes. So always invest in yourself. So one of the biggest lessons that I've learned over the last seven years of being a real estate investor has been about partnerships, specifically about how fast or slow a partnership is created. In the early days, I jumped into a lot of partnerships. I've done about two or three dozen partnerships now over this time. And the thing that I've learned about it is take your time getting into those partnerships. Ask the hard questions. Talk about expectations. Who's gonna do what types of roles? What happens when things go right? What happens when things go wrong? How do you like to be communicated with? When are we gonna establish team meetings? Have all those conversations up front. And that way, you're getting rid of any animosity that comes down the road and you can operate like, successfully as a group moving forward. So for us, Stephanie is uh, spend time with family, the balance, like a lot of the time people think investing in real estate is for money. For us, it's really the return of time, not necessarily return of investment. The re return of time is important for us and because time is something we can't earn back, money we can, right? So this is what we like about real estate. When you hire trades, all kind, you're depending on these guys to do the job perfectly without no questions asked. Now, what we've learned is question. Question them no matter how experienced they are. Question them on anything because you can and you will get burnt if you depend on them. No matter how flawless they do the work every day, always question your contractors no matter what. A lesson that I learned that came with a cost was to always listen to my gut. I know that the numbers uh, need to make sense. I know that you have to underwrite it properly and do your due diligence, but at the end of the day, is the person behind the deal that uh, for me really matters. So I don't care if the due diligence passes, I don't care if uh, the numbers make sense, I'm gonna follow my gut. So if it feels good, I jump. Uh, I've learned the value of partnerships. Uh, don't try to think that you can do everything or try to take everything on yourself. Uh, you don't need to do it yourself. Well, it's just going to slow you down in the long run. Look for a, a good partner, someone you can work with and take, you know, to take some of the burden as well. And that way you, it allows you to focus on uh, larger deals and, and move ahead and grow and scale. Yeah, so one of the biggest lessons I've learned is that you really need to know your business, meaning that not only the numbers part of the business, but every aspect of it. So renovations, massive part of the business, you need to know a little bit about how to talk to contractors and what is involved in a renovation, the nuts and bolts of it. So yeah, what's the biggest lesson I've learned as a real estate investor? Um, is likely learning to pay yourself during the process. Example is in land development. Uh, we always went with getting paid at the end of a project, so getting the profit at the end, where reality is if you really want to focus on the profit or the project, you need to make money to pay the bills, buy the groceries, that kind of thing. So you need to find ways to do that during the project, whether it's acquisition fees, management fees, that kind of thing. And your lenders will understand it and they'll want uh, to support you in that because they want you to focus on the project itself, not just you know doing side jobs to make the money. What a lot of real estate investors don't realize is that speed is critical when it comes to protecting your profits. A lot of people spend too much time getting quotes. When the unit is, is empty, they're spending a lot of time like trying to bicker back and forth to negotiate an extra $10, $100 on an add-on feature. Get it done, get it done right, get it done fast so that you can wrap up your project, get it sold, get it rented, and move on to the next. Because the longer you take in one project, you're missing opportunity in the next. So what you wanna do as an interesting exercise is figure out your monthly cost to hold the project, dial it down how much it's costing you per week and how much it's costing you per day. That's gonna be an eye opener, that's your homework, have fun. Yeah, I think honestly, when it comes to real estate, you gotta find a good community of people. Right? I've been blessed to join different communities where now I have a family of people that I can call if I ever come into any issues or things like that. In real estate, you know, there's always going to be challenges and things like that. So you've got to have people that you can call to lean on that have gone through similar challenges and just somebody to talk to. 
when things happen like that. So get into all the communities you can. Zach brings up a great point about surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals and networking with other real estate investors. So if you're interested in more information about the Synergy Mastermind, applications are now open for our fourth year. If you have questions for me, as always, you can leave those in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.